Moving on to the Indianapolis Colts. The Indianapolis Colts is a team that, you know, it really relies on is, is Andrew Luck going to ever play again? Like, we don't know. Um, but this is a team that has a building young nucleus. And, and uh, Quentin Nelson in the first round at six overall definitely adds to that. This is a guy that's looked at as one of the best offensive lineman prospects in a long time. And he's going to come in and he's instantly going to be a, like, you don't, honestly, you don't see this often, but I think he's going to be Pro Bowl. Like, he's going to be Pro Bowl right away. And it's not even going to be a question, I think. He's going to come in and he's going to be a stud, uh, Quentin Nelson, at six overall. And obviously, I think the biggest thing that the Colts did here, not only did they get Quentin Nelson in the first round, they also got a Braden Smith in the second round who I think they, they instantly have a good interior of their offensive line there. They have a pretty good center already. Um, so they add to Braden, they Braden Smith and Quentin Nelson at their two guards for the future. Um, he's a good player. I think he's, he's really aggressive. I think he'll help the run game. And those two players, I think, will be studs in the inside. Darius Leonard is an interesting pick in the second round. Um, he's very small for a linebacker, but we'll see what they try and do with him. He's, you know, he's a playmaker at the position, maybe in a similar mold to some of these safeties turned linebackers. He's 6'2", 213, it says. So he's like more of a safety size, but like maybe he'll be, uh, and I think that's kind of a reach in the second, early second round, but, um, you know, he could, he could serve a need there as, as a guy that they don't really have just an athletic linebacker that can cover. Um, I really like the Kameko Ture pick from Rutgers. This is a guy that showed a lot of uh, ability just to get around the edge and, and pass rush. He was one of the best pure pass rushers, in my opinion, in this draft. They definitely needed one of these guys. Besides Jabal Sheard, they don't really have anyone else. Sheard had a good season last year, but uh, Ture, I think, could instantly be their second best pass rusher on this team. Taekwon Lewis from Ohio State, um, pretty good player in the second round as well. They had one, two, three, four, four second round picks. So they fit a lot of needs. Um, they did switch, I think, to 4-3 this year, I think. So um, they might be shifting some players around. But Taekwon, I, I don't know really wh where he'll play. Um, but again, another guy that can add to their pass rush. Um, they got some receivers, some running backs, just to add depth there. And a couple more linebackers. AC, what did you think of the Colts draft this year? I thought it was um, really good. It's like finally, after all these years, they finally not go for a like a receiver, receiver late in the, in the first, first round, round. Yeah. and they get Quentin Nelson. Obviously, maybe pro maybe the, one of the best guard prospects we've seen in the last five years. Um, they get him. He's going to be right there. Obviously, Ryan Kelly is going to be a great center for them. Um, you know, uh, their O line starting to look decent. Um, looking at the offense before we go to defense. Um, obviously they brought in Ryan Grant, who I think Ryan Grant was kind of underutilized. I think he's a great player. And I think judging by the money he got from Indianapolis, yeah. I, people, people thought he was, I just think he didn't get as many touches, um, as you would like on that team, uh, and on the Redskins, uh, Deion Kane, I think is, could be an underrated pick. He was a guy that produced a lot, obviously playing with Watson, um, three years or two years ago, um, played a lot, uh, last year. A little more quiet, but still a big receiver um, can catch the ball well. I and I like how they, you know, Marlon Mack looks to be their running back. I'm glad they got rid of Frank Gore. Marlon Mack looked decent at times, but then you bring in two running backs that were, you know, top 120 picks. You know, you know what is that? I think early fourth round they got these guys, or or at least one of them. So maybe oh, one of them works out, and you just start, you know, you try to get that because I do think. My thing at the beginning of the draft process was I would love to see the Colts try to get Barkley. Obviously, he didn't even fall near to them, but I was wondering if he was there, if somehow he did fall, would they take him? Because um, that would be an interesting move for them. But obviously, they got Quinton Nelson and, and traded down there. Um, and then on, on defense, I think they just added a lot of depth, right? Like, they had a, a lot of picks. Um, they got some linebacker help. I, I wish they kind of, you know, they are changing – defense and Ture hope I think can play defensive end but they're I think they're still missing on the interior a bit of the defensive line um which they I think got rid of Hankins because they felt like he yeah. didn't fit the scheme like right now it's Marcus Hunt Al Woods Hassan Ridgeway and that's you know what I mean so 
Um, and then corner, the no name defense. They, they got that is the Colts. obviously they, and Malik Hooker's going to be back, so that's good. Um, they're just they're still weak in a lot of places. Their but corners think, are really bad. I think Quincy Wilson has the potential to be good, and Malik hit Hooker there. But like Kenny Moore at, at corner, no, I know, but I'm just saying secondary, like Matthias Farley at the strong safety, like their DBs are are not that great. But I think you know they drafted enough of them, so you know maybe one of them works out. Um, so we'll see. But I do like I did like their draft because I did like their first couple picks, and then um, I like what they did at the running back position, and then just depth like tons like you know they've drafted more than anyone i think so uh i think that's always a good sign you're just looking for depth they did kind of you know they had off they picked some offensive guys but you know obviously it was one of those things that it was more defensive in a way um like yeah. i'm looking at tons because they coming here. into this draft they had the worst defense in the league yeah. they still probably do have the worst defense yeah oh definitely but it's but it's a thing where they at least tried to address yeah. some of those needs and and that's why I'm giving them an A, um, because with a team like the Colts, they had so many needs. Like you yeah. could basically list every single position. Like almost more needs than for the Browns or the they, Jets. They had every position. I yeah, think. Yeah, I don't. Sure. I don't know if there's one position where you could say, okay, we're we're good. Yeah. Um. So I think the Colts, you know, just just having all those picks at their disposal and then executing with I think some pretty good players in those spots and and addressing some some needs some of their bigger needs as well like pass rush linebacker offensive line I think they did a good job there um and we'll see how some of these uh the Frank Reich Eagles uh, regime comes in and, and does the Colts in the first year but we'll see if luck comes back um that's going to be major to see if they can you know win some games or not because if with luck maybe they're a six and ten team without them they're probably drafting in the top five um, next year. So we'll see with the Colts.